Brian Williams of NBC has egg on his face after a story came out where military veterans were saying he is full of crap. And of course he had to admit it recently and just admitted a story where he was perpetrating the Iraq war in 2003. He said he was in a helicopter that went under RPG fire. Well, some of the soldiers that were with him called him on his bluff and said he was full of crap. And then he admitted it. He shared the story on many news outlets, on David Letterman, during speeches, during events, about how he almost died in a military helicopter in Iraq. Well, at least he admitted the story. He still is a sock puppet media hack for the warmongers. Uh, but let me tell you why this story doesn't matter. This story doesn't matter because forget about Brian Williams' ego. Let's talk about the bigger issue behind this story. Number one, he was an embedded journalist within the U.S. military, which provides many ethical problems because when you're embedded with the military, the military has to select you, vet you, you go through this progress, and they tell you everything to report. You're under their control, under their discretion, and they get to review everything. You're pretty much a PR person for the war industry, which Brian Williams of NBC, that were perpetrating the lies of WMDs, of the ruling establishment, he is the one responsible. Media, people don't hold these guys accountable. Now Brian Williams is being held accountable for his ego and his pride, but they need to be held accountable for their war mongering. It is only because the mainstream media manipulates news and information. It's the only reason hundreds and thousands of people are dead and suffering in Iraq right now. This man not only should have egg on his face, but he has blood on his hands. Now I ran into Brian Williams on three separate occasions. One time was during the G20. He was doing a live broadcast. And this is what happened when I saw that he was doing a live broadcast. plug but even on the news you were able to hear for some reason there were some kind of audio problems and then on the news on NBC during the national broadcast during the G20 people heard this that's our broadcast for this Thursday night thank you for being with us on behalf of our protester here with the Bullhorn I'm Brian Williams reporting tonight from Pittsburgh we hope to see you tomorrow evening back home in New York good night that went on throughout the whole broadcast and of course we successfully interrupted him to the point where even my own mother called me and said she heard me on national television but other than that I ran into Brian Williams on another occasion the video hasn't been seen by anybody but man to man eye to eye I met him and I talked to him and I talked to him about the problems of the media perpetrating war about things like World Trade Center 7 never questioning authority and Brian Williams the man he is of course said he has no opinion on that and he's not paid to have an opinion and no, I, no, I'm not paid to think because they're not. They're paid to perpetrate lies. They're paid to read scripts. They're paid to look professional, to look like the father figure that he looks like, so you trust them. But this problem of perpetrating war, which should be the bigger issue be behind Brian Williams' um, lie that he has been telling to perpetrate uh, all the horrible things that have been happening, is nothing new. And this is what people need to know. This has been going on for a while. Whether it's the USS Maine and the Spanish-American War, there came a situation where William Randolph Hearst, who had major connections with the U.S. government in the 19th century, 112 years ago, openly lied about an incident where a U.S. Sh Navy ship was blown up. He said that the Spanish were attacking us. And, of course, this caused a war. A outright manipulation of the facts when the USS Maine blew up because of internal problems. We see this manipulation with 
CNN and the first Gulf War in Iraq. It's not only just lying about WMDs. The first Gulf War in the 90s, in the early 90s, was also full of crap and full of lies. Here is CNN doing a supposed live broadcast behind a green screen, which is blue, a blue screen, but people just call it green screen in the industry, perpetrating like they're under attack. Look at these clowns. I know we can't be very specific given these restrictions, but uh, within those parameters, what did you see? Well, what I saw, I didn't see anything hit. I looked at the face, all those silver bubbles, and there's a vapor trail coming from my right to my left, and there's a cloud or uh, something. It looks like it might have been an explosion cloud there. The white sand is good. Look at these clouds. All the mainstream media is is just fake bull crap to perpetrate war. And this is not the only major lie told during the first Gulf War. There was a PR company that took the Kuwaiti's um, ambassador daughter and made her perpetrate a lie of how the Iraqi government was killing babies in incubators. The story was all manipulated. It was all an outright lie and the American people all they heard about was these babies that were murdered by the Iraqi military and that's why we need to invade them. Of course they didn't list all the crimes that Saddam Hussein committed with weapons that we gave him. They listed this fake event to emotionally get you into a trauma so you would be for the war. So you would actually support the first Bush president in attacking and invading Iraq. Um, there's a whole bunch of ma manipulation happening with media. And if you're not familiar, there's also Operation Mockingbird, an open CIA project that infiltrated mainstream media and openly had the CIA manipulating news, creating news that were worked out better for U.S. foreign policy. Top agents were working in the top echelons of the mainstream media in the 70s. And of course, you know, this just goes on and it's still continuing. Of course, Operation Mockingbird was disclosed. Look it up. Do your own research. The sources in this video will be in the description below. But it continues. There's a journalist in Germany who is a part of the mainstream media there, Eric von D. Bick. And he told a story recently of how the CIA put him on the payroll and were giving him stories to post as if they were his. The CIA knowingly is already infiltrating all of the mainstream media. And it's sad seeing people who are supposed to have integrity, people who are supposed to be the fourth branch of the government, who are supposed to hold the government accountable, just cower to power. As we recently saw Vice News when they invited Joe Biden, the irrelevant puppet, the irre irrelevant politician into their studios. Look at them. They're like holding hands, groveling over the non-existent power that this stupid icon has that no one even knows who he is. No one even knows his name. I went to a bar recently. No one even knew who Joe Biden was. Check out the Super Bowl drinking game. I had a lot of fun doing that. It's a great, funny video that you should also watch. But look at him just cowering to authority and power, clapping when he's speaking. Um, and, and this is not journalism. Even though Vice News portrays themselves as this edgy alternative media group, they are not. They are connected with the State Department. And I know a lot of horrible things about Vice News, not only from one of my friends that worked there, but also from the top people who still work there and used to work there. And what Vice News is doing, they're interconnected with uh, a lot of high establishment members with the US government with the US State Department and they're also perpetrating a lot of the lies and they're also willingly participating in this orgy fest of loving any warmongering authority manipulative figure like this bozo clown Joe Biden um, and of course you have to be very skeptical because the government's smart the CIA knows that many people are finding media hacks like Brian Williams irrelevant. Viewership with Vice News is also going down. But they know people are starting to go online and look for independent news source because the mainstream media is full of crap time and time again. We know that. 
they perpetrate war. That's who they're working for. That's their main mission. They have blood on their hands. They're the ones most solely responsible for the problems we're dealing with because if we were properly informed, there would be no freaking war. There would be no support for war. And that's why they're taking to social media. And that's why they're taking to manipulating social media in a way to spread propaganda so their stories could get out even more because they're knowing, oh crap. You know, the infiltration of mainstream media doesn't work. Now we have to do social media because that's where the truth is coming out. You know, the German journalist spoke out. He became a whistleblower how the CIA was manipulating him. There's even FBI agents that infiltrate and impersonate AP reporters and are openly working, sometimes as interns. They're infiltrated on so many different levels. And that's why you see the garbage that you see on mainstream media. And the FBI just admits it. FBI doesn't have as much power as the CIA, but they're still trying to get their hands because they knew they know news is a major, major power. And of course, they want to manipulate the news because if they inform you, they empower you. And they don't want to empower you. They want to keep you in fear. Just like the Iraqi incubator story that was totally manipulated by a PR company. That's what they're doing right now with ISIS. Not mentioning the fact that the U.S. government is funding ISIS. They're not mentioning that very fact. But it's coming out quicker than ever because of social media, which they're trying to get a grasp on because they're trying to manipulate as much as they can. Don't let them manipulate it. Share this video with your friend. Show people what real news is about. Like this video and don't forget to subscribe. We're going to have a lot more video breaking down the propaganda that's being thrown your way. Forget about this egotistical sock puppet media hack for the warmongers they're all warmongers they're all pieces of crap I didn't need to know that I didn't need to know Brian Williams was gonna lie to call him out back in what 2009 I didn't need to know that I knew that from the very beginning and everyone should know that so share this video with your friends and thank you again so much for watching